I'm Dr. Vanita Rattan. I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. So today's video is about mistakes you're making with your hyaluronic acid. I think a lot of uh, people use it incorrectly. Um, and because it's a water magnet, it's a, it's a humectant. That's the category of ingredient it falls into. If you don't use it right, your skin is going to feel tight, it's gonna feel dry, it's gonna feel uncomfortable. And you see this feedback uh, happening a lot uh, from people who don't know how to use it. Um, so this can either help you or, or irritate the skin. And unfortunately for skin of color, we do need to be more careful with our skin. We don't want any form of irritation or inflammation on our skin. And dry skin tends to mean for us dull skin and pigmentation tends to look darker. So I thought this was an important video for us to make on classic mistakes that I see being made with hyaluronic acid. Um, uh, product recommendations, the products that are best for skin of colour and the which ones to avoid. Um, and also the important thing you to know is none of my videos have ever been sponsored and they will never be sponsored. This is purely an evidence-based library for us and for our children to make sure we're using the correct products for us because unfortunately, the vast majority of products on the market were designed for Caucasian skin. So what does hyaluronic acid actually do? So first thing it does is because it's a water magnet, it plumps up that top layer of skin. So if you use it correctly, your skin should feel like it's glowing. It should feel like light should be able to reflect off of it evenly um, because it's been plumped up. If your skin is dry, it means that when you look at your skin under a microscope, the edges of the skin cells are curling upwards and so light diffuses and it scatters in different directions. And that unfortunately means that your skin looks dull. It doesn't look like it's glowing. So you want light to be able to reflect evenly in order to give you that glow. Hyaluronic acid also helps water to bind to collagen, which strengthens the collagen and gives you um, more of a, a stronger structure to your dermis. It makes your skin feel more supple and youthful. Now, as we age, um, we have less hyaluronic acid in our skin. It depletes, and this is what leads to wrinkling and sagging of skin, um, along with obviously uh, collagen that we're losing. We lose 1% collagen every year from 21 years old onwards. Um, and so I'm a big fan of, uh, of collagen, marine collagen drinks. As you know, I basically make my own um, eight grams marine collagen drink with vitamin D, vitamin C, niacinamide, um, and other ingredients that we need for skin of color. Um, I did want to ask you, do you guys want me to make this collagen drink available to you globally? Or is this, or not really, are you not really interested in collagen? That's also fine too. So can you write down below, we want the collagen drink. No, we don't need the collagen drink. And I will do whatever you want me to do. So let's move on to the classic mistakes. Mistake number one is not choosing the right hyaluronic acid. You want one with different molecular weights that can penetrate different levels of the epidermis. If you just use large weight molecular hyaluronic acid, it's just gonna sit on the surface and you're not really gonna get the full benefit of it. The second classic mistake is applying it incorrectly in the wrong order. So once you wash your face and your face is still damp, that is when you want to apply hyaluronic acid. I love hyaluronic acid in a toner, so your thinnest thing that goes onto the skin first, uh, because what you're basically doing is you're attracting water from the water that's sitting on top of the skin to penetrate slightly deeper into the epidermis. Whereas if you try and put hyaluronic acid onto dry skin, you're going to further dry the skin because now you're attracting water from slightly deeper in the skin to slightly more to the, towards the surface and your skin is gonna feel tight and uncomfortable. So really you always, always must wear hyaluronic acid on damp skin. Mistake number three is applying your hyaluronic acid after you've applied your other serums. Now, as I've mentioned in other videos, you have less and less penetration of actives the more layers you put onto the skin and so imagine you've put your serum you've put two serums on two single actives and then you come in with your hyaluronic acid really you're not going to see any benefit from it because it's not going to penetrate deep enough in order to work so this is why i tend to prefer cocktail emulsion stable cocktail emulsions which has all the ingredients you need being put onto the skin simultaneously so they penetrate simultaneously so for me, it was easier for me to have, I wanted all my ceramides, peptides, humectants, and tyrosinase inhibitors into one cream that I could put onto the skin. And that's the reason why I made Cerapep Brightening Moisturizer from the Dr. Mita Rattan range, specifically for my face, so that it 
basically penetrated simultaneously. The next mistake is people not using hyaluronic acid in the correct therapeutic index. So I tend to recommend 0.2% up to 2.5% maximum for hyaluronic acid. You really want this in a serum, a lotion, or a cream so that you are attracting water from the product deeper into the skin. Um, it's just the most effective way to do it, but you always still start with a damp skin. So Dr. V, how do we supercharge our hyaluronic acid? How do we make sure hyaluronic acid is working? So there are a few things you can do for to improve the benefit. Number one, use a humidifier at night. Remember I told you it's a water magnet and ideally, especially if you're living in a hot country, a dry country, or you're using uh, central heating or air conditioning, like me up here, um, a humidifier is going to be your skin's best friend because you want water to come from the environment into your skin, not from your skin out to the rest of the environment. And just because of diffusion, if you're in a dry environment, you're gonna find that your skin is going to be drier because water literally, transepidermal water loss, water is evaporating from your skin to the environment. So make sure you have a humidifier at nighttime if you live in a dry place. I would say also I recommend barrier oils to lock the water in. So once you've used your hyaluronic acid serum, for example, I got damp skin, hyaluronic acid, use your um, barrier oil to prevent any more water evaporating from the skin. I promise you the next day your skin is going to feel far more supple, your skin is going to feel more comfortable and your pores are gonna look minimized. Really with hyaluronic acid, you do want to use it for a few months to notice any real benefit. Yes, you're gonna notice the next day that your skin feels more hydrated, more supple, but for longer term benefits, it is gonna take a little bit longer. Now, Dr. V approved hyaluronic acid products that are NAFE safe, meaning no denatured alcohol, no fragrance, no essential oils, and are also non-sponsored. So let's go through them now. Quickly, if you guys don't know what NAFE safe means, uh, Denatured alcohol is basically a volatile substance. It evaporates from the skin and takes water away with it. It dries the skin. It's the absolute worst ingredient you can put into your hyaluronic acid. Number two is uh, fragrance. You don't want any fragrance in any of your products because fragrance is the number one cause of contact dermatitis. And for skin of color, that equals pigmentation. Um, and the third one is essential oils. So essential oils is a skin sensitizer. In fact, um, I'm going to do a whole video. There's a documentary right now on Netflix about essential oils and how they've been marketed. And interestingly, they are talking about essential oils being a skin sensitizer and people encouraging others to use essential oils on the skin, which is an absolute mistake. And I'm so glad finally putting it on Netflix means that it's, it's becoming mainstream that essential oils is not good for the skin and especially for skin of color. Now, knowing my criteria is obviously, um, I have extremely high standards for skin of color. I scoured the internet to look for suitable hyaluronic acid serums for you, and I only found three. So here goes. The first one is from The Ordinary 2% Hyaluronic Acid. The second one is Innistree Hyaluronic Acid. And the third one is Vichy Mineral 89. I actually don't like a lot of the Vichy products, so I was surprised that this one was so good and I would recommend it and it's a buy now product. To learn more about skincare for skin of color, you can now purchase Skin Revolution. This is my book. It's been published by HarperCollins. It is my love letter to my global skin of color family. I've put full chapters in here on ingredients, on conditions, how to layer products, Dr. V approved products. Um, so please do make sure you get hands on a copy of this. The link is down below too. Uh, please do follow me on YouTube. I'm in the comments for one hour. Also on Instagram, Skincare by Dr. V and Dr. V Tavratan and also on TikTok too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.